Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is Komal Taya. So guys, last time we discussed about some very basics of organic spectroscopy uh, where we talked about precisional frequency, magnetic field, this garomagnetic ratio and how to solve some numerical numericals based on that. But in this video, we are going to cover very important topic. Like the first video, it was important, but this video is something which you cannot proceed ahead without covering this topic the first video you can get theoretical question from there and maybe you can get two marks question but over here if you miss this video then if you'll start maybe watching the videos after like five to six lectures then you'll be missing a lot of parts so it's my advice to just stick to this and not miss this lecture because it is going to cover number of signals so whenever any compound is there so you tend to think like how many NMR signals will be there. So that we are going to co cover. So uh, if uh, we are going to cover it from the very basic approach and in very simplest manner, because I think that's the theme of our channel and my channel basically and uh, one more thing that uh, if you'll just cover it because in today's lecture a lot of imagination is there and we'll just uh, solve it we'll just try to find things as if we don't know nothing and then we'll uh, eventually what will happen if you'll just uh, go through these concepts you'll be able to imagine concepts like in gr group theory like i've seen people uh, they have problems visualizing and imagining stuff in group theory but if you are able to go through this lecture eventually you'll be able to imagine there as well but we'll obviously we'll cover those lectures as well i just love group theory but for now we'll stick to this number of signals we'll just see things how we solve them how um, how we proceed ahead and how to so uh, how to solve uh, some questions very uh, very base from the very basics basically so without further ado i think i've given more than enough introduction and we should proceed ahead now so can you just pay attention over the screen can you see like there is very basic definition over here that is number of signals so basically whenever we talk about nmr h1 and na nmr we always talk about number of signals that is the first step that is the first step fine so basically what what does uh, number of signal do so they give information about number of sets of equivalent protons suppose i have this propane so how many equivalent proto protons are there now we'll find out we'll find out that how many peaks will be there whether it will be three two one how many peaks will be there so we will find out and then we'll proceed that uh, about the chemical shift and uh, coupling constant these all concepts a area of integration and all these things we'll be going through them but uh, first of all we'll just cover this number of signals it's very important and trust me it's going to be very interesting you are gonna go through this lecture as if you just uh blinked it it's like that so uh, uh, number of signal they give information about how many equivalent protons so equivalent protons that means uh, definition is written over here chemical equivalent pr uh, protons that means they feel same magnetic field that means they give same signal so suppose if there is a uh, propane let's say propane only so we'll see how many equivalent protons are there so those equivalent protons suppose if i say these three hydrogen over here they feel same uh, they are chemical equivalent so that means they will all three hydrogen over here they will feel same magnetic field and same with chemically non-equivalent so that means they will not feel same magnetic field just opposite of this in anisotropic protons that means they will feel same magnetic field they will be having same signal this is important guys just pay attention i'll discuss about this in detail i'm just giving basic definition over here they will feel same magnetic field they will give same signal in case of anisotropic proton and in case of diastereotropic proton they will feel different magnetic field and they'll be having different signal so this is a very basic definition over here now let's go to this next slide so which is basically we'll see how do we see that how many number of signals our compound will be having so suppose there is benzene fine and you put this over here so you will get this this is aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction so yeah 
so you'll get over here uh, chlorobenzene so what will happen now if i have to find how many number of signals will this compound will be giving how many number of signals so first i have to see what nmr i'm doing so for h1 nmr proton nmr we'll only see hydrogens so how many hydrogens are over here one two three four and five fine these are five hydrogen so if i say that uh, how many signal this compound will be giving we'll be talking about this also we'll be talking about this also first let's just talk about benzene how many signal benzene will be given so it has how many hydrogens so for h1 n 1 h nmr this will be giving um, we'll be seeing only hydrogens fine we'll be first seeing only hydrogens don't pay attention to anything how many carbons are there how many functional groups are there we don't have to care about this thing we only talk about this h1 nmr right now and we'll only see hydrogen we are blinded by other atoms and other functional groups fine so what we'll do in benzene what will happen so uh, you can see this cl you know that in this reaction electrophile will be there this cl plus so where it will attack it can go to any position you know that because every position is equal it can go to here also it can go to here also it can suppose if i write like this it is going to over here suppose at this position it is going over here so i'll write this if you'll say okay no komal it, it should not go over there it should go over here okay i'm writing it over here it will go over i'll say yeah. you'll say no i want over here so okay you it can go over here as well but what is the difference every compound is the same every product it is same it is chlorobenzene 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 so that means every hydrogen is equivalent over here because this electrophile can attack at any hydro at any carbon i'm sorry at any carbon over here and it will be uh, then it, what will happen it will uh, just give rise to this chlorobenzene and uh, you we can say that these all hydrogens are equivalent because chlorine can be substituted anywhere so i hope this is clear so this is something very basic we'll just um, these are something very basic i'll i'll tell you a trick also we'll go through tricks also to know that uh, how to find out in the very basic manner if we don't know for like very big compounds and for certain things for now i hope this is clear to you that every and in fact i'm pretty sure you must be knowing about this only so let's see <clears throat> yeah so for now we'll just talk about benzene this compound i'll be taking on later on fine so let's just move ahead so or it's written over here as well that these six hydrogens are chemically equivalent so it will be giving only one signal i just forgot to tell you that since these all hydrogen over here all hydrogen over here they are equivalent so they will give only one signal so we will be getting like this one signal like this i'll just like this i'm so sorry i'm very bad at drawing and all fine you'll be getting like this over here and uh, because these all hydrogens are equivalent this is this was for benzene don't just um, confuse it with this chlorobenzene we'll be cl covering chlorobenzene later on in the coming uh, coming uh, maybe half an hour or one hour let's see how things proceed ahead yeah so over here let's see this example fine let's take this example so over here let me just zoom it up yeah so again like this is uh, chlorobenzene only so we'll just go through the basic norm which everyone has been teaching us but uh, uh, we'll just cover our tricks and tips later on but for now let's just take what basic uh, uh, literature says right so basically in this chlorobenzene what will happen you can see over here there are how many hydrogen five hydrogen fine so if i have to do again this reaction where will this electrophile will go so you'll say komal we don't know like we do we know the reaction so we will see that how many signals will this gap mode will be having so you can see this is 
ortho this hydrogen i'll just name this this ha is ortho to cl fine this hb is meta to cl this hc is at para position but then this position again this is at meta position this position again it is at ortho position so basically it will be having three signal 1 2 3 fine and the product will be having like that only you know that one cl goes over here one time it goes over here one time it goes over here so that shows that how many um, hydrogens were replaced so that means uh, that hydrogens they were uh, they, they they only will give signal so for over here you can just see that it will just uh, give this only like one signal because it is ortho both hydrogen they are ortho they both hydrogen they are meta and this is para so basically they will be having three signal three signal the intensity will be higher of this because two hydrogens are giving this so i'll just i can write down like this like uh, yeah this one signal of this one of this one of this but intensity will be higher of ha and hb because two protons over here two protons over here are giving same signal and over here also but hc will be having lower in intensity so um, that would be like that only fine so they will be having total three signals so let's go in the next one so this if i'll just see yeah this one this is suppose this is the compound so how do i know that this compound will give how many signal so what will i do if i have some suppose if i have this uh, tetrahedral kind of compound over here so what i'll do i'll just try to th these i'll try to replace these two hydrogen these two hydrogen are same i just named them like a and b so if i just replace them like this if i replace hb by i so i have written over here if i replace ha by i fine so what will happen now we'll talk about enantiotropic protons and like that so you will see that they are becoming enantiomer they are becoming enantiomer because they are mirror image you can see like if i'll just mirror image of this would be like this right and that's what this compound is so they are uh, this enantiomers so they are enantiomers and uh, yeah they are enantiomers so basically these two hydrogens are same only because both of them any of them can get replaced by iodine if i have to replace hydrogen by any other atom so any of them can get replaced because you can see h is connected to c c is connected to br and cl same over here this h is connected to c carbon and then br cl just 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 understand it like that only i'll just say in the simplest term this must be becoming little difficult for you but let's just say in the most easiest term fine i'll take this hydrogen so i'll say next there is carbon fine and then there is bromine and then there is chlorine fine over here also this hydrogen next there is carbon next there is bromine then chlorine and then hydrogen so both these hydrogens are equivalent and they both will give only one signal like this they both will give one signal so i hope this is clear i hope this is clear but if you have doubt you can just ask me in the comment section it's as easy as that okay now we haven't got into the strict section right now but we are slowly and gradually going to that only so yeah again pay attention over here this is diast diastereotropic topic protons again so what will happen it is categorized in two categories one is optically and geometrically optically there is one condition which should be which should be satisfied and that is that one should be chiral carbon and the next carbon having hydrogens like this they will be having different different signal always remember this guys in this condition what will happen so basically if you will replace both this hydrogen what will happen diastereomers will form like this 
diastereomers will form like like the same way in anisotropic protons we did that that we replace both hydrogen and they were uh, mirror images but over here what will what will happen that when you replace these both hydrogen they will not be mirror images so basically just skip this part just remember it like this whenever what will happen if there is any chiral carbon if there is any chiral carbon so chiral also a lot of people don't know what is chiral so chiral means having all uh, functionality is different so suppose if i take this carbon fine so suppose if i have to take this nmr of this 1h proton nmr of this and uh, you want to see how many signal this compound is giving so what will happen so i'll see okay how many hydrogens are there so uh, i'm just writing it over here to make you understand guys that okay this compound has c this compound has c h3 fine c h3 this has h c l c h h c h3 fine so what will happen now there is one trick basically that is a condition not trick i'll say uh, so what will happen can you see these three hydrogen let's see whether they'll be giving equal signal or not you can see this hydrogen is connected to c yes and then this hydrogen is connected to to c cl and then h same with this hydrogen that it is connected to c i'll take red pen to make you understand guys yeah this again this is connected to c and hcl same with this hydrogen it is connected to c two hydrogen one carbon hydrogen cl so they all they all they all are feeling equal uh, field equal um, magnetic field so what will happen these three hydrogen will be giving one signal okay one signal is there this carbon okay i have figured out now this carbon is having this is single bond guys hmm. is having one hydrogen okay what about this okay one hydrogen i'll be getting one signal for sure i don't have to worry how many suppose if there were two hydrogen i had to worry how many signal it will be having so for now it will be having one signal because one hydrogen we have to worry when there are more than one hydrogen fine so uh, in next what will happen this h and h i told you we just can't then we have to find out like this if there is chiral carbon suppose this is chiral carbon because this carbon is attached to h different atom this carbon is attached to cl different atom over here it is attached to ch3 you can see this carbon is attached to h cl ch3 and over here it is attached to ch2 so everywhere it is it is connected differently it is connected by h ch3 cl ch2 ch3 so that means this carbon is chiral so for any carbon or for any atom to be uh, for this to be chiral what will happen your every this uh, connected atoms they should be different so it has different different atoms connected to it so it is chiral so i'll put it star fine so what will happen whenever whenever any carbon uh, whenever any chiral carbon is there so the car the next adjacent carbon and the hydrogen adjacent to it they'll be having this uh, diastereotropic proton ability they basically this carbon will be having this they are two diastereotropic proton and in anisotropic proton give uh, same signal but diastereotropic proton they give different signal so one signal for this and one for this just round it up this 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 and this fine and ch3 again so these these all three hydrogen they will be facing same magnetic field so one signal for this i hope that is clear to you because you can see over here this hydrogen is connected to c ch2 again this hydrogen is connected to c ch2 again this hydrogen is connected to c ch2 so all three hydrogen are same they will give one one signal so but don't get confused over here that okay komal you told that but over here this hydrogen is also connected to c and ch3 this hydrogen is connected to c and ch3 yes but always remember whenever any chiral carbon is there over here just pay attention over here over here yeah 
so whenever any chiral carbon is there so the next carbon and their hydrogen always consider them as different protons they'll be giving different signals I remember I was asked this question once in my presentation when I was giving during the second year of my master's. I was asked about this diastereotropic protons and that time I did not, uh, I had, I was not uh, having this um, NMR as my course till that time because it was in fourth semester and then what happened that I did not know about this and uh, I got stuck. So basically now you know it and now you are pro in it. So yeah, so what will happen? This is chiral carbon and next carbon, these two hydrogen, they will be having, these are, they, these will be called diastereotropic protons, these two hydrogen and they'll be giving different signal and this compound will be giving total five signals. So I hope that is clear. I hope that is clear. So this is optical one, but let's see this geometrical one. Always remember guys, question come like million times from here. So what will happen geometrically? What will happen? Suppose this is the compound. In this compound, what will happen? If this is this is the compound and whenever sp2 carbon is there, double bond is there, always remember guys that these two hydrogen, these two hydrogen will be showing different signals always. You know that this hydrogen will be giving different signal because this is only one hydrogen. Carbon is attached to over here, chlorine and hydrogen and this is sp2 carbon, you know that. Fine. So this will be giving one signal. Okay, you got one signal over here. But what about these? So you will be seeing that, okay, uh, this will be giving one signal or these two will be giving one signal or these two will be giving different signal. So in that case, always remember that this hydrogen is cis to this hydrogen and this hydrogen is trans to this Cl. Same with this. Over here, this hydrogen was cis to H, but over here, this hydrogen is cis to Cl. So that means they are in different environment. Over here, it is in cis with Cl. Over here, it is in cis with hydrogen. So that means they both are in different environment. And this happens only in case of this sp2 carbon. Don't do that in terms of uh, whenever tetrahedral carbon is there. Fine. So these, these will be giving different signal, these two hydrogen. The one which I just point, pointed now, like, yeah. So one signal of this, one of this, one of this. Like the basic definition is, is to just, if you want to see, you can just replace two hydrogen. You can see over here by Cl atom and then replacing this Hb by Cl. And then you will be seeing that um, they are not mirror images. Fine. So that's how you find out diastereotropic uh, protons but the simple trick is that just see that this hydrogen is cis to this and this hydrogen so always remember whenever double bond carbon will be there like this like this always remember these two hydrogen will be giving different signal remember like that you don't have to just think again and again about this like okay this is in cis with this this is in trans with this always remember that hydrogen attached to single carbon having this sp2 um, this hybridization then they will be giving different signals so we are just going through the basic definition right now yeah yeah so let's just see ch4 so if i take this compound ch4 how many signals it will be giving now you will tell me how many signal it will be given obviously every hydrogen is same this hydrogen is connected to c and then three hydrogen this hydrogen is connected to C and three hydrogen. This hydrogen is again connected to C and these three hydrogen. This hydrogen is connected to C and these three hydrogen. So all, everything is same. So these all four hydrogens, they will be giving four hydrogen is equal to this one signal. They'll be giving one signal. I hope that is clear to you guys. Let's just take this example now, which is ethane. So what will happen? I'll just draw it first. And then we'll see how many signals it will be giving. Fine. You can see that this is, you can see that everywhere it is surrounded by this hydrogen. So this carbon is having three hydrogen. This carbon is also having three hydrogen. So there is no difference in them. Like this in hydrogen, if I'll just see this CH3, this C is connected to C and three hydrogen. Again, this hydrogen is connected to C 
and then this C and then three hydrogen. This hydrogen is also connected to the same things. And when I talk about this hydrogen, this hydrogen is connected to C and then CH3. Same way, when I talked about this HA, if I say HA, HA is connected to what? C and then C and then three hydrogen. Fine. But suppose this is B, C, D. If I talk about HD, HD is connected to what? C, yes. Then again C, yeah. And then again three hydrogen. So this is equivalent only they are connected to the same same thing only but it just shown on that side and we'll always consider that these three hydrogen will be equivalent to this only so basically all hi all hydrogen all six hydrogen will be giving one signal fine i hope this is clear to you always remember always consider it always try to see things like that this way it will be easy don't put it like this that okay cs3 cs3 these three hydrogen will be giving one signal and these three hydrogen will be giving one signal no always just open the structure and see things like this the way i have just done over here it's little bit maybe um, little bit shaky over here in the starting it becomes a little bit difficult but eventually you will just go with it and you'll learn it 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 is easy only if you just think it know that it's very easy to score marks from this nmr part all you have to do is just try to learn things uh yeah so over here again what will happen over here uh suppose this is the reaction on ethane so cl compound got introduced over here but then again it just over here cl cl and then again on one come you know this reaction right this reaction this cl can come over here also can come over here also if you don't know you can just look in the literature there you will just get it like what is the procedure what is the mechanism but for now we just will just focus over the uh, over the signal part fine so if i take this compound suppose ch3 ch2 because in examination it will be like that only you, they will be giving reaction and then they'll be asking signal of maybe this compound or this compound or this compound fine so let's just see like uh, what how many signals this compound will be giving fine uh yeah so over here like in ethane what happened all six hydrogen giving one signal so let's just see over here let's just open it up can you see over here that this hydrogen is connected to C and this CH2Cl? Again, this hydrogen is connected to same carbon and then C, CH2 and Cl, this hydrogen. So all three hydrogen, these will be giving one signal only. Fine, because they are facing the same environment. But what about these two? Like in ethane, what happened? In ethane, over here I'm drawing. In ethane, these hydrogen were also same like this so these two hydrogen are also same like this let's see this hydrogen is connected to c h and cl and then ch3 fine but over here this hydrogen was connected to c ch2 and cl so it's not same let's write o write it over here a and d this ha is connected to what ch2 and then ch2 cl fine but this hd is connected to what ch2 uh, chcl i'm sorry chcl and then ch3 can you see it is different can you see it is different completely different so that means this this hydrogen will be giving different signal then this one so these two hydrogen gave one signal but what about this hydrogen whether it will be giving the same signal as hd or it will be giving different signal fine so if it was giving different signal, then it will be having three signal basically. One, two, these three, three hydrogen are giving one, two, three. But let's see whether this hydrogen is equivalent to this one or this will be giving different signal. Fine. For that, what will we do? First, we'll see whether this is chiral carbon. No, this is not chiral carbon. This carbon. This is not chiral carbon. Fine. So obviously, these two hydrogen will not be diastereotropic. Not diastereotropic fine so now let's see whether they'll be giving 
different or same so diastereotropic possibility just went out so again this hydrogen i'll just write it e h is connected to what again chcl and then ch3 it is same like this having same environment so basically hd and he they are equivalent these two hydrogen these two hydrogen they are equivalent so one signal will be of this and one signal will be of this i hope this is clear to you if you have any doubt you can just ask me in the comment section guys you can just see the i've just deducing in the most simplest way this is how you see if you don't know in the very one go that how you see that how many signal it is giving suppose for the reaction these are two products we are getting so if i take this compound so what it will be having how many uh, this how many signal it will be having you can see uh, i'll just write it over here c h h c l c h HCl. So, guys, it is symmetrical compound. Whenever symmetrical compound is there, you can just drop it like this, and then these two hydrogen they will be giving same same signal only these two. So, basically, four hydrogen will be giving one signal. So, this was shortcut only. I'll uh, now I'll be telling you and explain. Can you see this hydrogen is connected to C, Cl, and then H, and then this hydrogen is connected to C, H, Cl, and CCl. Everything is same, guys. You can take any hydrogen over here. The environment will be same. The same way you can do it like this, and you will find that it is same. Over here, this hydrogen is connected to C. Yes, this hydrogen is also connected to C. So over there, it is CCl, and then over here, it is CCl. Fine. Everything is same over here. So every hydrogen over here will be giving one signal. Four hydrogen will be giving one signal. But if I take example of this second product. If you have guys, I'm not explaining it that much because I just explained it with two three example just now. If you have doubt, you can just ask me in the comment section. That would be great. Or you can ask me in the Telegram. I can tell you again uh, with pictures and everything. Just drop some messages uh, in the group. Uh, okay. If I talk about this compound, fine. Let's talk about this compound. This is CH three. ch and then cl cl can you see over here how many signals will be there obviously environment is different there is three hydrogen over here there is two cl completely different environment so these three hydrogen will be giving one signal and this one hydrogen will be giving one signal fine i hope that is clear to you this will be giving two signal because that is completely different environment you can just do it like that also step by step okay this hydrogen is connected to c and then cl cl and then c three hydrogen you can do with this every hydrogen you'll find out you can just do it like this now whenever symmetrical compound is there like this always consider they are having equivalent protons like they'll be giving one signal like this in ethane can you see in ethane they are symmetrical only fine so all six hydrogen will be having one signal and in this case also this cl ch2 ch2 cl fine so you can see this is symmetrical compound only so these all four hydrogen will be giving one signal only fine always consider it like that always understand it in that way and uh, i hope these things are clear to you i'll just again do this uh, i'll take the example oh my god yeah so I, i'll again take this example that okay one signal of these three hydrogen and one signal of this uh, c uh, hydrogen connected to this ccl2 fine so this is the one which we just got finished with let's just see next examples so if i have this propane fine so last time what we did we did this ch3 and ch3 it was symmetrical all six hydrogen were having one signal but here now propane is there so don't do it like this like okay this is symmetrical now we'll be getting only one signal no how many type of hydrogens are there over here there are two hydrogen over here three hydrogen three hydrogen so we'll check over here once over here once over here once fine 
सो लेट्स सी लेट्स जस्ट सी इट इज सी एच 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 सी एच एच एंड ओवर है थ्री हाइड्रोजन फाइन सो वट विल हैपन नाउ या सो वट विल हैपन नाउ दैट दीज थ्री हाइड्रोजन दिल बी गिविंग वन सिग्नल फाइन एंड दीज थ्री हाइड्रोजन दे आर सेम एज दिस ओनली दे आर सेम एज दिस ओनली टेल मी दिस इज सी एच थ्री ग्रुप दिस इज सी एच टू दिस इज सी एच थ्री टेल मी दीज थ्री हाइड्रोजन इज कनेक्टेड टू सी एंड सी एच टू एंड सेम विद दिस दीज थ्री हाइड्रोजन इज कनेक्टेड टू सी एंड सी एच टू कंसिडर इट लाइक दिस इफ आई टेक दिस थ्री हाइड्रोजन एज बी एंड दीज थ्री हाइड्रोजन एज ए सो ए विच इज थ्री हाइड्रोजन इट इज कनेक्टेड टू आई जस्ट राइट इट ओवर है विच इज ए विच इज थ्री हाइड्रोजन इज कनेक्टेड टू वन कार्बन एंड देन सी एच टू एंड देन सी एच थ्री सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस बी B which is again three hydrogen it is connected to C and then CH2 and then CH3 so these three are so they are equal only you can see they are in same environment so A and B are equal so that means these six hydrogen will be giving one signal and these two hydrogen will be giving one signal fine like you'll be saying okay komal what about these two hydrogen that how come they are equal or unequal if there is uh, let's say if there is chiral carbon if there was chiral carbon then they would be different but for now they are not diastereotropic so they would be giving one signal only consider it like this fine because they both hydrogen are connected to the same atoms only and they are facing same environment you can just write it down in the same way for ch2 also you will be getting the same answer fine since i need to rush to further things also so i'll be just rushing ahead yeah so it gave how many signal two signal i've written over here this compound will give two signal suppose reaction happen like this and then uh, this these two products we got if i have to see how many products how many signal it will be giving let's see let's just see this compound for now just let's see this compound i'm just drawing it over here ch3 c h c l c h3 fine so can you tell me now how many signal it will be having guys it's same these three hydrogen is connected to c c h c l this three hydrogen is connected to c c h c l and then c h3 so these six hydrogen they will be giving one signal and this one hydrogen will be giving one signal fine so they are having two signal in total clear let's just take another example that is another product that is ch3 ch2 ch2 and then cl fine let's just see if they are equivalent or not three hydrogen they will give one signal yes two hydrogen over here they'll give one signal yes but what about this it will give same signal as this like whether it will be uh, merged in this signal or it will be giving different signal let's just see so now it is not same guys because this ch2 is connected to ch3 and ch2 fine this two hydrogen you can see this ch2 is connected to ch2 and ch3 fine but this ch2 is connected to ch2 and cl this ch2 is connected to ch2 and cl but this ch2 is connected to ch3 and ch2 so these two ch2 they are different suppose if there was like this if there was case like this ch3 ch2 ch2 and ch3 then it would be like this only like these six hydrogen they will be giving one signal fine but these four hydrogen they will be giving one signal because this ch2 is connected to ch2 ch3 and this ch2 also this connected ch3 ch2 ch3 fine so it would be like that only but over here it is different over here it is not connected to the same ch3 on both side it is connected to different atom over here that is cl fine 
so that is cl so this is these two hydrogen will face different environment and it will be giving one signal over here so basically we'll be getting three signal written over here i hope this is clear to you if this is not clear you can just ask me again or if you want to repeat me maybe we can just solve it again maybe on some live or something like that uh fine so let's just see over here this is the compound fine again we just did the same reaction now what will happen this cl will be introduced on different like this cl cl one like one cl will go over here it will arrange basically one, one time cl will go over here one time cl will go over here fine so it will be like that only yeah let's just see these example now these are the products basically of these two compounds these got i guess little bit uh, merged up so just excuse me for that but just let's just see product and let's just see signals fine so if i take this compound so this is let me just take it to different side over here little bit so i can get space over here and we can write this over here because now i'll be getting clean slate ch cl cl ch2 ch3 fine so one signal of this one signal of these two hydrogen and one signal of this so basically there will be three signal because this is c this there are three hydrogen which is connected to c there are two hydrogen which is connected to c over here there is one hydrogen which is connected to ccl2 ch2 and then fine so it was very easy so to total there would be three signal so let's just take this example now which is ch2 cl and c h c l and c h 3 fine so what will happen these three hydrogen they will be giving one signal yes what about this hydrogen yes this will be giving one signal because only one hydrogen is there it will give one signal what about these okay you will be writing okay they will be given one signal no guys no you are wrong over here wrong no it will not be one so what will happen now you will be confused okay what what actually happened over here kumal both hydrogen are like this hydrogen is connected to c cl this chcl this hydrogen is connected to same chcl this only so what is the difference basically i'll just name this fine for you this ha is connected to c h c l c h c l and then c h 3 and this h b is connected to CHCl, CHCl, and then CH3. They are same Kumal. Then why are you telling me that these are different? Okay, wait. There was one concept which I told you. I haven't taken an example of that till now, but let's just see now. What is happening over here? Always remember if there is a chiral carbon. This is a chiral carbon. Can you see? Let's just take red pen. Yeah, this is chiral carbon because it is connected to all different atom H, Cl, CH3 and this CH2Cl. So this is chiral carbon. So I told you whenever car chiral carbon will be there. So the next carbon having two hydrogen, they will be diastereotopic. Don't confuse it with this that OK, Komal, these three are the hydrogen. They'll be giving different signal no it is only about when there will be only two hydrogen and different atom to the next carbon it will not be valid to this carbon when all the atoms are same it will be valid when there will be two hydrogen and one different atom on the next carbon so these two hydrogen they'll be giving different signal so how many signal one of these three hydrogen one of this hydrogen and these two of these two hydrogen so two one three four so basically it will be giving four signal i hope this is clear to you guys if you don't know and if you don't understand what will i do i'll just repeat it for you guys that's the maximum i can do yeah so let's just go to the next compound as well this one fine c h3 c h3 c c l c l ch3 fine what will happen uh can you see these three hydrogen they are connected to ccl2 and ch3 
and this these three hydrogen is connected to CCl to C CH3. So basically, these six hydrogen are equivalent only one signal. Can you see? Let's just name it over here. Again, I'll just simplify it for you guys. Suppose I'm naming these three hydrogen as A. I'm naming these three hydrogen as B. Fine. So over here, A is connected to what? C and then CCl2 and then CH3. If I talk about B, B is connected to over here C, which is connected to CCl2, which is connected to CH3. Fine. So these two are equivalent and these six hydrogen, they'll be giving one signal. And on next carbon, there is no hydrogen. So there will be no signal from this carbon. Fine, guys. I hope this is clear to you. I'm going a little bit fast, I feel. But I'm telling things on the very basics also from like very easy. Nobody tells you like that, that it is connected to that. It is connected to this. I've written it literally so that you guys can visualize it. Fine. So yeah, what will happen now? Let's take this example. Last one. CL. CH2, 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 and Cl. Fine. Oh, just hold on. Yeah, I'll take a seat. I'm so tired. I feel tired already. It's just midnight and I'm recording it right now. So, yeah, just avoid this for now and just pay attention over the lecture. Yeah. How many signals will be there first of all you see and you tell me guys can you tell me can you tell me you can see these i'll just write it in this way only cl ch2 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 cl you can see this ch2 cl ch2 cl is connected to ch2 only fine so these four hydrogen are same only one signal and these two hydrogen will be having one signal there is no this uh, chiral carbon so there is no point that this hydrogen will be giving two signal you can see this is ch2cl which is not chiral because it is connected to the same atom twice so these four these two hydrogen and these two hydrogen they'll be giving one signal because they are connected to same ch2 same environment same environment guys completely same so it will be giving basically total number of signal will be two so i hope that is very easy this is very easy guys maybe just i explained it so broadly so broadly a lot of you must be bored so let's just go to the next slide for now yeah it's over here guys now things are going to be very interesting they are going to be very interesting and uh, I'll be explaining this. So now these things are, let me tell you, they are going to be very interesting. All we have to do is imagine. So basically we have to just play with this plane of symmetry thing and uh, you'll be good to go. But since I feel a little bit tired, I'll not be covering that in this lecture. I had plans of taking this lecture to maybe two hours and all, but I'm done already. So I'll be covering that in the coming lecture you can see the very interesting slides i'll show you see we'll be doing it in very interesting way like till now it was a little bit boring i can say yeah it was boring for me as well but now things are going to be very interesting like this i'll tell you just cut it in between and then see how many reflections are there and then see how many will cut it from here we'll cut it from here we'll cut it from here here from everywhere we'll try to just cut it uh whatever compound we'll be getting for like cyclic structures like that so guys this will be very interesting you can see i'll show you my slides so many slides are there you can see there's so many slides and we'll be taking everything everything will be just uh, taking into account and we'll be just studying everything so they are going to be very interesting so i hope you'll be 
tuned with me in the next lecture as well so for now i'm done with this and if you have any problem any doubt any query feel free to use the comment section it is completely free and uh, yeah you can just put down your opinions as well comments as well about the feedback as well so that these all type of things are more than welcome in the comment section and for now i have talked a lot and <laughs> i just bet i do through you guys and uh, i'll see you in the next class in the next lecture so till then take care keep smiling and bye bye